Hey there, how's it going? Well, I'm cooking, and it was 90 degrees today, and so I have fans going. It's interesting how the weather is continuing from August. <laughs> but, uh, what I think is hilarious, I really do think it's hilarious, I, I'm, I've been laughing out loud at how some people are reacting to the NFL. They're reacting to the Steelers. I'm gonna burn all my stuff from the Steelers. My name is Robert L. Williams. I am a master electrician in North Texas. Today, my team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, decided that they needed to keep themselves in the locker room while Mr. Villanova went out to salute the flag and to stand for the anthem. All right, this is what I think of that. All my Steelers stuff. This is a $450 leather jacket. Congratulations, you wasted your money on useless sports memorabilia to, you know, people who make millions of dollars for playing a game. Sort of like how movie stars can make millions of dollars for just acting some sort of role, while there are millions of others who can barely make a dime off of their acting, and people who are really good at sports who can't make a dime off of their ability to play sports, you know. But congrats on, on spending, you know, four hundred dollars on a on a sports jacket. Congrats. Watch me burn it. Oh, hold me, I'm scared. All my hats, all my sweaters. You know something? We have morals in this country. You do not disrespect the flag and the country and the Constitution and why we are here and why we have our freedoms. So watch this stuff burn. Oh no, I'm really scared. Yeah, Super Bowl, right? As if I care. And it's all about those stars and stripes. Come on, baby, light. There we go. Fire! 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 <laughs> yeah, my father was a Marine, my grandfather was in the Army, my uncle was in the Army. Our That's right. son is in the Army currently. Congratulations on convincing your son to destroy his life. Yeah. And you're, and you're not gonna sing the national anthem and stand united as a country and disrespect our, our veterans. No, you're not. You're not going to disrespect our country. You're not going to disrespect our flag. It's kind of too late for that. They've already disrespected that piece of cloth. You don't. You've crossed the line. Oh. God bless you, and I pray that you believe that Jesus Christ died, he was buried, and he rose again the third day for your salvation. That's what this country was, was founded on. That and the Torah, the Ten Commandments. Believe it. Embrace it. This is what dominionism smells like. So I'm done with the NFL. Lifelong football fan, lifelong Bears fan, and they won today in overtime. Uh, so I read my dad, uh, all our lives, uh, all my life, dad, you know, we always unfold the game and dad would come home from work or something and be like, what do you think about the Bears? And we'd go throw the ball and be like, I think about the Bears. This is what I think about them Bears. Sorry about this hair. It's going to do what it's going to do. Um, and uh, today he's like, um, what's going on with the Bears? I'm like, I don't know. And then later he's like, how are the Bears doing? I'm like, no idea. And then just to answer his question, I read that they won, and it looks like an exciting game. No clue. And I never will again. I'm done. That's it. And so uh, if you believe in this country, sorry, pro sports, you're done too. Fucking boycott all of them. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> you know? Um... People are really, really taking these symbols really seriously. You're taking the flag really seriously. You're taking the national anthem really seriously. These things are just symbols. But some of you are just making this huge deal about it. Which makes me think about 
the monuments, the statues, and people wanting to take them down, it, it makes me more on the side than even before of, of, of the people that I want to have them taken down. I don't want them destroyed. I think they should be put in museums, but, uh, you know, if, if people are going to take these symbols this seriously, it's not really an issue of, of uh, being a historic monument. No, some, of, some people are just taking this shit really seriously because of symbols. Then, yeah, let, let's have at it. Let's, uh, let's keep attacking these symbols because uh, maybe it'll get more people to think about the subjects that attacking the symbols is trying to bring up. Um, I'm sorry, I, I just think it's hilarious watching these people just go, go nuts because of the NFL. It's, it's hilarious to me. It's one of the most peaceful forms of protest someone can do, and they're just sitting there shitting bricks. I think it's great. Sorry, but, but I think it's great. I think it's hilarious. Now, this really could be just people being really pissed off that even the NFL is being affected by the anti-Trump mindset. Well, you know, you guys elected him. Uh, live with the consequences of that. And yes, people's reaction to his presidency is a consequence of his presidency. You know? You, you wanted Trump, so here you go. I, I still think it's hilarious. I mean, let's be real here. Trump just essentially declared war on North Korea. We are potentially about to be involved in a third world war, and it is literally Trump's fault. So, people getting pissy because people are not liking the Trump administration? Don't defy Trump or you're un-American. Don't say anything bad about the symbols that represent this country. You're scum. That's, that's the mindset. So, yeah.